Topping our news, former presidential candidate Ted Cruz continues to stir up controversy, refusing to say if he would vote for GOP nominee Donald Trump. Speaking before his own Texas delegation at the convention, Cruz lashed out saying, I am not in the habit of supporting people who attack my wife and my father. Kenneth Craig has more. Cruz, Senator Cruz, do you regret your remarks last night? Guys, I'm getting ready to talk to the delegation. At a breakfast for Texas delegates, Ted Cruz refused to back down about not endorsing Donald Trump. If you go and slander and attack Heidi, that I'm going to nonetheless come like a servile puppy dog and say thank you very much for maligning my wife and maligning my father. Cruz stole the show Wednesday night when he snubbed Trump during his speech at the Republican National Convention. Vote your conscience, vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom. He was then booed off the stage by many in the crowd who had been cheering up to that point. I've never heard booze like that. The, the house, this whole auditorium was literally shaking. Cruz has rocked not just the Republican convention, but his own state. Texas delegates are split between supporting him and supporting their own party's nominee. He will never be president. I will campaign against him because all he was doing was helping Hillary Clinton. It's personal to me because of what Donald Trump did to Ted's family. People go, talk about my family go, and I get over it. I'm tough. Trump himself has a chance to win over holdout Republicans when he accepts his party's presidential nomination tonight. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Cleveland. After the recent attacks in Baton Rouge and Dallas, the FBI is focused on investigating threats against law enforcement, and they're asking for your help. An exclusive News Channel 5 investigation reveals how the agency has dealt with social media threats made against police here in Middle Tennessee, balancing civil liberties with keeping officers safe. When it comes to law enforcement, we're very aggressive with that and to giving out warning orders to uh, police and letting them know that individuals have been making threats. Some of those threats made against law enforcement right here in our area will shock you. Don't miss the exclusive investigation on News Channel 5 tonight at 10.